What's up ladies and G's, D1 Snipes here today and uh, what we're going to be talking about in uh, this commentary and this will be a much longer one as you can see by the video length that uh, this will be an entire BF4 gameplay uh, this is on Operation Locker I uh, was playing with two of my friends earlier today and got this it's a 38 and 13 are my final numbers because you don't get to see them at the end uh, that's why I've given you guys this information um, what I want to talk to you guys about is uh, I've been playing really well in this game and it's reminding me a lot of how I played in Battlefield 3 where if I die I go absolutely nuts because I feel like if I play it right uh, you should never really die in this game. Now I know that sounds cocky or immature but honestly if you play this game right you can get a ton of kills and uh, you can do it with minimal deaths and today I want to talk to you guys about how to do that especially in this game Call of Duty I like to know or I'd like to say that I know a little bit about the game but honestly I still have a lot to, to learn compared to this game I know this game very very well uh, so I feel very confident about talking about anything and uh, this isn't really a flute gameplay this is just a little more exciting uh, because it's a smaller map it reminds me a lot of Metro but uh, this game is a little more exciting I uh, don't I drop numbers like this uh, normally this is not uh, just some kind of fluky gameplay that I had uh, these are pretty consistent numbers for me so let's get right into it um, the first thing I want to talk about is positioning Positioning in any game is important. Um, if you play any kind of competitive game, you're going to figure out really quick, if you don't already know, that key positioning for you and your teammates is key. So, a tip that I'd like to give you, especially if you're running with two or three people, it's so easy to lock down uh, sides or corners or buildings on a map. In this gameplay, uh, one of my guys was trying out a shotgun, and the other hasn't played this game very much, so we don't really show it in this video. But if you can get people to lock down different entrances to a map, especially if you're winning gunfights, it's so easy to spawn trap a team, rather than just going for the most popular area right here from up top, that you see me looking at. Uh, it's... Real high traffic areas are not the areas you want to be uh, watching, especially if your team is doing the same thing. So if your team is going for the really populated high traffic hot zones where you know there's going to be a lot of kills and deaths, your team wants to watch the, uh, the guys that are flanking because people that flank, especially on this map, and if anybody's played BF3, they know on Metro, the annoying squad or guy that runs back and gets uh, the first objective closest to your spawn is the most annoying thing in the world. Especially when you're playing good and you're spawn trapping a team. And it gets really annoying that you have to run back there, possibly lose another objective just to go back and clear those guys out. And if you are getting spawn trapped, that's a very key thing to do. Just be as annoying as possible and try and get your, uh, take the pressure off of your guys up front. So, moving on to the second point I want to talk about is, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry, the second point I want to talk to you guys about is, uh, just knowing the maps. Um, this is like my third time playing on this map, but if you know the map well enough, you're going to do well. If you know where those high traffic zones are, you're knowing uh, where the enemy is going to be. You're, you are your own UAV, so it's, it's key to know the maps, to know where people are trying to get. So... Say a guy is taking an objective and you know where a really good hiding spot is. 
to take that objective. So what your main goal is to do is to to find that spot. God you want to it. know that spot for every single flag on every single map. You may be thinking, wow, who has the time to do that? It's really not that hard. There's a couple spots where people like to go. Or, I mean, just in general, if you're playing a really confident team that runs around and wins a lot of gun battles and they're, they're confident with their gun skill and they are beating the hell out of your team, gun skill-wise, then they're going to stand more out in the open. They're not going to be as concerned with hiding in a corner and worrying about guys picking them off. So... Uh, you want to pay attention to that. If you're playing a good team, be prepared to play a little bit careful and don't uh, don't rush as hard. Play a little bit slower. Play for your uh, Why is no play for your team. Stay alive. Let your squad spawn on you and work as a team to try and take better players out. Now, if you're playing a shitty Gosh. team, team that is playing kind of scared. We have our then team your main goal is to, you're going to want to look in corners. You're going to want to look in uh, less less popular areas. You're going to want to look it under stairways, in corners, in dark kind of offset rooms. You want to, you really want to try and make, I mean, you don't want to make a team scared. I mean, but you know what I'm saying is and that. They're going to try and hide from you to take a spawn. They're not going to try to, uh, they're not going to try and challenge you head on. Which is what they should do. If a team is better than you, then you need to play a little slower and you need to try to stay out of their way. But at the same time, if you still want to win, then you're going to need to take objectives. Um, the third thing <laughs> is, uh, knowing spawns. Say you're trying to take uh, the back. Uh, you're say you're trying to take the third objective, and you've got them pushed back, and you're trying to spawn trap. Main goal here is uh, be watching their spawn. I mean, unless you know that a squad guy got away, and you know he's trying to flank you guys, unless you know that for a fact, watch their spawn. That's where they're going to be coming from. Um, I know this. that's an obvious example, but you'd be really surprised how many pit kills that you can pick up off spawn if you know what side of that flag that the enemy is going to be spawning on. So say you get to a flag, you kill a guy, and uh, say his squad hasn't spawned on him or the flag yet. But A lot of people I know don't talk in Battlefield, but if they are, you know they're calling you out. So be ready from their side spawn of the flag to expect players. So get you some cover and expect people from that direction because that's where they're going to be coming from. Because if they spawn on that flag trying to take it back from you or just trying to kill you or your squad, that's where they're going to be coming from. And if you can pay attention to that, that's going to be huge. Um... As far as uh, other little tips that I have, um, that's mostly for winning games and trying to get flags right there. Um, I know that in Battlefield 3, sometimes, sometimes you just can't win. I know that sometimes you get put on a team with some shitty players and the other team gets put on team that's got two squads of three that are running really well together. One's running all vehicles and the other one's got air superiority and you really just can't do shit. You're trying to do everything you can. But sometimes it just doesn't happen. Um, ways to keep your KD in matches like that. I know some people just leave. I really don't like leaving games. I may have a high quit percentage in this game. But that's only because I try to pick up my teammates. There's no squad system at the very beginning in the main menu, which I find really weird because that was a strong suit of the last game. But I try to pick up, I mean, you have to join a Conquest game and then hope that the there's enough room in your server because they fill up and empty like crazy. So it's really hard to gauge what's, what servers are on the up and what servers are emptying depending on 
whether they're US West, US East, Europe servers, all that kind of stuff. Just pay attention to that little stuff. But, um, no sitting back and camping to spawn with a sniper sounds like a bitch move, but you're, if you're really worried about your KD, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. I have not played much sniper, although I think it's my second highest played class, only because I wanted to unlock the DMRs. Which are a crazy good gun. I won't say overpowered because they're really hard to use at short range. They're really great for short or medium and long range engagements, but as far as short range goes, I mean you've really got to hit your shots or you're you're fucked if somebody's got an automatic weapon. And I why the fuck would you do that? I run the ACR. I'll probably do a setup video for my class anyway. Just a really short one to show you what's up, but, um, t yeah, to get your KD up, play really slow, don't challenge anything stupid, I know it's hard not to in this game, because it's easy to kill people, but, if you, if you play it slow, like I do in this video, if you know the spawns, position yourself well, and don't get in bad spots, then you're not going to die a lot, no matter the teams or what's going on. Like, if you put yourself in a good spot, then you're not going to... You're not going to die. There's much. Ugh. And, uh, if you're really worried about score per minute, then I would definitely pull out Engineer. Yeah, that's what I run all the time. That's how my score per minute is so high. I, uh... I run anti whatever the other team is good at so if the other team is running tanks really well I run uh, the RPG or javelin I just try and annoy them as much as possible so even if I'm not killing them or even if I'm not blowing them up I'm at least making them think about me I they're smoking themselves out they are running away they're not challenging objectives like they should be as armor I'm giving my armor a chance to attack them so you do a lot of stuff as an engineer to mess up uh, enemy armor. And then the same thing goes with uh, jets and helis. If you can make them uh, smoke the, uh, or shit, if you can make them flare your stinger, then you're making it that much easier for your other air to blow up the vehicle. Now I know there's, I don't think there's any assist points for that kind of thing. But it's little stuff like that that will win you win you more games, honestly. Score per minute is always good with Engineer. You can repair vehicles. Uh, just make sure you're hopping on any objective that you can. And that's that's mostly for score per minute is with the Engineer because you're so versatile in everything you do. Especially once you unlock the DMRs, you can run those with the Engineer so you have some long range reach instead of using the carbines. That really gives you an advantage. And then as far as wins go, this will be the last thing that I cover. Um, use teamwork as much as you can. Get in a full squad, even if you're by yourself. Get in a full squad that looks like they're trying. And really, even if they're not listening, talk to them. Let them know, hey, I need ammo. Hey, there's a guy over to your left. Even if you don't think they're listening... There might be the one guy on the squad that has a broken mic, or he doesn't have a mic, but he's listening and he wants to win. People that play Battlefield, I don't think, are worried so much about their KD. I know some guys are. There's going to be that person in every game. But they really do want to win, and that's what I really love about Battlefield, is there's a lot of people that are not the best players, but they will try their ass off to win, and they will win a lot of games. They'll have a higher percentage than people that don't care about winning and just want that KD, because you can hop on an objective with a teammate, take it fast, and then move on to the next one without having to worry about your KD. And that'll really help your win percentage in the long run. Uh, gun skill always helps, but in this game, it's all about teamwork, positioning, um, if you can get a little bit of timing in there for certain spawns, I mean, that's always helpful, as in any game. But, uh, I think that's all I got for you guys. 
Um, you would like me to go in depth with anything, uh, weapons, maps, uh, any more strategies for specific maps, I can do that. I've played just about every game mode on every map and I've got it. I won't say I've got it down to a science, but I've got a legit strategy that works for us just about every time. And I usually only run with two or three guys. If we ran a full Stand team, back. we'd, ran, we'd run people down pretty quick. But uh, let me know what you guys think of this video. Leave me a like. Uh, love you guys. Peace. I shot a dude, ran down the stairs, shot another guy, knifed a dude, and then shot another guy laying down heavy fire with a big gun. And then Aaron's in there blowing away a whole cell full of dudes. <laughs> so I gave him hell for a little bit.